Hello YouTube and welcome to this week's edition of Brace Car Fabrication and Restoration. You saw in our last episode we had the 66 Nova almost ready for paint. We're going to finish that up today. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of welding on the rear shock mounts. We're also going to install the firewall here uh, on the front of the car and we've got uh, a little bit of sheet metal work to do uh, on, the, on the interior that's gonna be steel and not aluminum. The rest of the interior will be aluminum when it comes back from powder coating. But we're gonna get this going today. Appreciate you joining in with us. And like I said, our ultimate goal is get this sucker loaded up and get it headed up to paint. We hope to do that uh, on Monday morning. Today is January the 2nd, and we're hoping to have this up there uh, at the powder coating place on Monday morning. So anyway, appreciate you joining us and stay tuned. Let's see what we can get into. So we'll be right back with you. Welcome back YouTube and it's been a long Saturday, but we've got everything done. It's been a long day of welding and grinding, but we got the firewall installed and we went with metal as you can see us all spot welded in and did a lot of cleanup grinding all around from the welding we did. Um, but she is ready to go. We're going to load her up tomorrow after church and put a lot of additional gussets in here on the uh, frame for the uh, fuel cell mount. The gussets all four corners on that. We also added gussets here on the shock mounts and that was pretty thin tubing so I felt like it needed that. But we've got uh, everything done. It looks kind of light now, but I think it's still pretty heavy for a race car. <laughs> But we're going to get the trailer in here tomorrow after church and get her set down, kind of have an idea. We're going to uh, set the frame down on jack stands, then we'll put the lift arms up like around the roll cage and lift it up that way. Then we will um, back the trailer up under it and set it down on the trailer. So that's the game plan, and we'll try to get that video for you. But real pleased, it's been a lot of work. I think five or six weeks, it's been a long time. I mean, a lot of effort. But to appreciate all the work your buddy's done on it with me, it's been a lot of fun, but I'm ready to get this thing out of here. Just in time, we gotta get the 88 car on the rack tomorrow as soon as this gets on the trailer. We gotta get the uh, 88 car over here. We're gonna run it on the 16th of January over in Dallas. And uh, I need to change the fluid and transmission and rear end and I get it cleaned up a little bit. We have, I did crank it up over the holidays, so I have run it some, but I uh, need to drive it down the road and you know, get the brakes uh, scuffed in and stuff. We're gonna take it over, so we'll kind of get that. We'll just use a video of that as well. So anyway, uh, we'll be right back with you here and we'll start trying to load this thing up. So hang in there, we'll be right back with you.
welcome back YouTube. You can see we've got the chassis loaded up and ready to head to the powder coater. I think we've got everything done. It's speak now or forever hold your peace. But uh, we did a little final grinding on up here, on, especially on the roll cage. We got that a lot smoother with a buffing wheel. Then we added this piece of trim here um, just to help seal the cockpit up a little bit. Make some nice little pieces there. So uh, I think we're good to go. So we will find out. We'll get it delivered tomorrow. And I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I hope I can do it in one week because I've got to head to Atlanta, Georgia uh, tomorrow after I drop this car off. And I hope that uh, they can have this thing done so when I get back, we can work on it next weekend. That would really be sweet. But there you go. Been lots of work. Loaded up, ready to go get some color on it. I'm not going to tell you what color it's going to be. It's going to be a surprise. I hope you like it. But we're going to pull out some colors from one of my brother gene humphrey one of his old cars that i think was a really good looking car so it's going to be kind of a unique frame color body color and interior color but we'll just kind of let you see a little bit at a time so hang in there and we'll be right back with you
Welcome back YouTube and we got the car delivered safely up to the powder coat in place and we appreciate uh, Ronnie Stuckey and Black Diamond Race Cars for jumping on that so fast. They got that chassis sandblasted and turned around in just two days and we picked it up yesterday. But I don't have room for it here in the shop because my son right now, Ryan Humphrey, he builds bodies for cars and he's actually putting a uh, body on this limited modified here. He does really good work. We're actually going to feature this uh, body, the, some of the work he's doing on next week's video, so you might find that interesting. But it's a really, really nice car. This is driven by a superstar, Josh Warren here. He's a local hot shoe here in uh, the North Louisiana, East Texas area. But uh, we're going to feature some of Ryan's work, how he builds these bodies. So that's going to be pretty neat. But uh, got that going for us. And uh, then we've also got the 88 car in here. I've got to get it ready. We're actually racing in Dallas next weekend, and we're going to pull out of here Friday. So I've got to get the transmission uh, oil changing in. I'm going to check some lubes and butt, nut and bolt the car. Then I've got to get this uh, street legal car out of here as well. But, uh, again, I'll show you a little bit more of this modified. We're going to show you how we put these bodies on this car. But let's go out here and I'll show you the um, chassis we got back on the Nova. And I think you will uh, like it. And like I said, I was going to keep the, the color a secret, but I'll show you what we ended up with. And I, I love it. It's very nice. And again, the guys probably did a really good job on it. But here it is. How about that bright orange? And we're actually going to go with a orange body, orange frame, and orange interior. It's gonna be a triple orange car. That's something my brother did on one of his cars back, oh, several years ago, actually back in the 90s, a lot of years ago, but it was a good looking combination. But they did a really good job on the car, and it's amazing, I say, for them to knock it out. But they do race our chassis constantly up there, and uh, everything was just was really nice. Some of the areas I was worried about up here on the roll cage, um, that turned out really nice. Uh, we did the extra buffing on that. But the only thing we got messed up is I've got to get the new cap, a new cover for the fuel cell. They accidentally powder coated it orange, but the rest of the cell is red. But then this is the frame here. So I can't wait to get this thing in the shop and get it back together and start, we'll start working on it. But, uh, hey, hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will consider that. Tell your friends about us. We picked up a lot of new viewers and subscribers this past week. And I uh, hope you enjoy some of the footage we're doing. But uh, we're going next week, and say we're going to recap some of the work on this limited modified. And then uh, we're going to have a little bit of racing actions also when we take our 88 car out to do a little track day uh fun with it so you guys have a fantastic week thanks for watching and we'll see you next week on race car fabrication and restoration take care